So I'm going to talk to you about balancing equations. Some of you may already be utterly confident with balancing equations. If you are not, then hopefully by the end of the lesson you will be. And if actually you are, this will do you no harm as a revision. So the um, first thing to think about when we're thinking about balancing equations is we need to think about the equation that we've got to balance. So I'm going to get use a simple example where I have sodium reacting with chlorine and when those two things react together they form for us sodium chloride. So that is a word equation, all right? That's a word equation. Now, so a word equation is absolutely fine, um, but a word equation is not something that we actually are able to balance. So we need to think about turning this into a symbol equation and then balancing it. It may be in an exam that you have to fill in part of an equation and then balance it. And it may be that you have to write an equation from scratch or you want to write an equation from scratch in order to illustrate something. There's actually a lot of chemistry that we need to understand in order to be able to write this equation and balance it. So I'm going to work through this as if it were from scratch, as if we were having to do the whole thing. And so let's think first of all about sodium. Sodium is a metal. Sodium has the symbol Na, and you can look that up on the periodic table. So sodium is Na. Now, any metal only appears in an equation as the symbol for the one atom, and that's it. This means one sodium. Now, actually, if you have a lump of sodium, it's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of sodium atoms. But the number we would have to write down here to show how many sodium atoms there, there are would A, vary, and B, be irrelevant. Because actually, a metal is a giant metallic structure, and there are billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of sodium atoms. So we just put the, the formula Na. I'm then reacting Na with chlorine. Now, chlorine has the symbol Cl. But that is not the correct formula to write for chlorine. Because when you look at chlorine on the periodic table, you find that it is, in fact, a non-metal. And you should know that non-metals bond covalently. So... Chlorine Cl, well, there are seven electrons in the outer shell of chlorine. So when it bonds, it is going to share one pair of electrons in a single covalent bond. That single covalent bond enables both of those chlorine atoms to have a full outer shell. So it is Cl2. All right, chlorine goes around in a pair. All right, if I had to do sketches, I would sketch the bonding in sodium as being like this positive sodium ions surrounded by negative delocalized electrons. The bonding in the chlorine molecule. It's two chlorine atoms joined together. This chlorine atom has seven electrons of its own in the outer shell, and this chlorine atom has seven electrons of its own in the outer shell. They share one pair in a single covalent bond. See, there's a lot to remember here. You know the bonding in this, you know the bonding in this. And then, if we're going to write a correctly balanced equation, we have to get the formula of the sodium chloride correct. We've got to get the formula of the sodium chloride correct. So I've got to know that sodium chloride is 
ionically bonded. It's an ionic substance. It has an ionic bond. I've got to remember that sodium atoms lose one electron so that I form an Na plus ion. You possibly shown it like that or maybe with the positive sign outside the brackets. And then a chloride ion consists of a chlorine atom but with an electron which did originally belong to the sodium. I'm just going to show that as a different colored dot here, a red dot. Okay, so I've got Na plus and Cl minus, and those two things will go together to give me a neutral compound. So the formula of sodium chloride is NaCl. So that is my first step done, okay? The steps in balancing equations. So the steps is number one, correct formulae first, okay? So the formulae, that means your subscripted numbers, all right? Your subscripts, okay? This little number here, sub means below, is a subscript. That's telling me that I've got two chlorines. So I can't hope to have a balanced equation if I don't have correct formulae, okay? So that is my first step. And then the next thing that I've got to do, I've got to think about whether my equation is balanced, okay? So correct formulae, number two, is it balanced? All right, that's your question now. The is it counting? So I'm going to count in numbers and I'm going to write them above this equation up here. I'm going to say, okay, I've got one sodium on the left hand side here. And if I go over to the right, I can also see that I've got one sodium. So actually, that's fine. My sodiums don't need any mucking about with at the moment. But. I have got two chlorines here and only one here. So my chlorines are not balanced. I've got two on the left and one on the right. The only thing that I can do to make this equation balanced is, is to put a big two here. Now what that actually means is that means I have a whole other sodium atom and ion, sorry, and a whole other chloride ion. So I've now got two of these ions, or two of each of these ions. Got two of each of these ions, all right? That big balancing two means not just one pair, it means two pairs. So if I go back to my numbers up here, that one now becomes a two, and that one now becomes a two. This means I have sorted out my chlorines, but I have not sorted out my sodiums because now I have two sodiums here and only one here. I need to make that a two. The only thing I can do is put a big balancing number in front of the sodium. It becomes a two. I'm just saying, okay, I reckon I don't need one sodium, I need two. And there we go. Job done. That equation is balanced. Okay, so formulae first, work out if it's balanced, change the big balancing numbers to make it work. Okay, change the big balancing numbers to make it work. Okay, so I'd like you now to have a go at another equation. I would like you to look at hydrogen and oxygen, which react together to make water. So that's what I would like you to have a go at, please. <laughs> 